Oh wow, look. There is a butterfly that has trapped itself in my hoop house. Of course, I'm gonna let the butterfly out, but I figured I'd go ahead and show you uh, this butterfly along the journey. What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't Keep Up With The, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't Keep Up With The, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. What's up, beautiful people? It's your boy, Ricky Jones Jr. for another episode of Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Is green thumb edition yes and I am back with an exciting video because I am not only showing you what to do when your beans are growing beyond the five gallon bucket but I'm also pulling up two things that are like mystery items in our raised bed garden because um, rain well not rain more like crystal Crystal has been wondering, are these onions finished? I don't know if these onions are finished, and I think now is the time to pull them up to find out. So we're gonna pull up the onion, and then there's this mystery plant in the raised garden bed that I don't know what it is. But today we are about to find out what it is, and I'm gonna also show you what I planted along my pallet deck uh, to keep the mosquitoes and all those things away. And then also ask for your advice on what you think I should plant in yet another raised bed, okay? You going for the ride? You here for the journey? Well, let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I wanna make sure this video gets done and completed, which is about to rain. So, you know, that is what we're dealing with here in sunny Tampa, Florida. But anyway, I'm about to get to this party, okay? Now, um, there's this mystery plant that has been growing in my raised bed. Look at this. I don't know if you can see like how massive, like how massive this undertaking is. Like look at this, this is like a little tree growing. It has gone all the way out here. And today is the day that it goes away. Okay, y'all put in the comments, today is the day that it goes away, okay? Now I have been growing this whatever it is for such a long time because I wanted to see what it was, what it is, just so if anybody is growing like me in their raised bed, they may come in contact with it. Now, just so you know, what was in its place was radishes. I did a video where I put the radish up one by one and all that good stuff, so you saw what it looked like. Um, but then this creature just started growing in the back area. So today is the day we get to find out what it is. And before I pull it up, hit that like button, like this video, because I don't know what I'm about to pull up, but I need your encouragement by hitting that like video that you get to see what I'm about to see because I waited to see it with you. Okay, so let's pull it up. Let's see what we get, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all let's see how much space is actually taken up. Whoa, this root ball is massive. Oh my goodness. Like, it's carrots under there. Look at this. Whoa, whoa. I think it's pulling on my okra. Yes, it is. What is this? Oh my gosh, yeah, my okra's gone. And I hope it didn't damage any of my carrots, but look at this root system. Look at that. What is this? Let me pull it out. Ladies and gentlemen, what is this? Let me know in the comment section. What is this? Look at these roots. Like there's an okra plant that has been pulled up along with it. Look at these roots. This root system is intricate. Look at this tree. Like it doesn't really have a smell to like tell you, but I'm gonna put it on the pallet deck so you can like see. Look at how big it is. That was in my raised bed. I cannot deny it. Y'all saw me pull it up. That was in my raised bed. Thank God is there no more. But this is the damage that it caused. Look at this. Look at my soil. Soil has to be re-loved on. Okay, my carrots are still intact over here. Praise God for that. But uh, my okra plant, this one's gone. This one is leaning. I'ma just put some soil around it and hope for the best. But if it doesn't make it, I understand. 
it had a lot going on but i can only imagine the excitement my plants are having right now because of that massive situation being gone it can now breathe see some fresh sunlight that it hasn't seen in so long but that it will get now that was interesting my carrots are looking good i'll probably pull those up soon um let me know in the comment section below how do you know when your carrots are actually ready to be picked because if they're ready they can come out i can always eat a carrot help with my you know my sight and all that good stuff carrots are good for you so i don't know if i should pull this out i'm gonna pull it out safety's first uh yeah so that's that raised bed and then here are my beans that are growing nice and strong they aren't a vibrant green that i expected them to be but nonetheless it is what it is uh, maybe because i have pepper plants growing they say you should not uh, companion plant peppers and beans i did this just to see why and now i'm seeing why you can see here the leaves of this uh, bell pepper plant are not looking good these leaves are not looking good as well so i'm seeing the negative effects planting bean plants with pepper plants and you're also seeing the negative effects of the humidity of tampa florida when you're outside before it rains now i have this onion plant right here that looks luxurious you all like it really looks good i'm gonna pull it up today and have a mushroom growing so my friends and ladies and gentlemen always check your raised bed gardens so oh it's nice and brown wow i didn't even know mushrooms could do that it's ugly and powdery ew okay but more than importantly i came out here to do some protection for these bean and a bean plants in my five gallon bucket so everything is growing nice and strong the corn is looking good the corn is in the center um it's a little weak right now i got the beans growing here look like my purple beans are growing because the stalk is purple um these are looking good these are looking a little bit better so i have a cage that i have here that i'm gonna put on top and let me show you what i mean by that All right, so now that I have the cage over the five gallon bucket, I'm gonna use these ties that I have, these 30 twist ties that I have to attach the bean plants um, to the cage itself to help it in the growth process, okay? Because that is very vital to make sure they have a nice support system while growing. Um, and that is the purpose of the cage. Now. Let me know in the comment section below because I, like I said, I expected, not the dog barking, <laughs> but I expected the cage to be tighter, um, you know, higher up than it is. And um, my leaves are breaking. I was a little too rough with putting the cage up on it. Um, so I am sorry plants. I'm sorry beans for the mistreatment of you. Um, but I still need you to grow and produce, okay? It's always good to talk to your plants, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tie these bad boys up, the beans that is, and um, yeah. So watch me do what I do, and then we are gonna pick that onion plant up because that has been the anticipation for this family. Well, really for my wife. She's been anticipating that. All right, so ultimately this is what the beans turned out looking like. You can see them having their support along the ends and as they grow up more, they'll be growing up higher and then I'll be able to support. And I honestly believe these are like the pole beans, well not the, yeah, pole beans that grow up high as opposed to the bush beans, which I'm used to growing in my raised garden beds, which are like smaller bushes, okay? Hence the name bush beans. But now it's time to go ahead and pull up this onion and see what it is all about. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is like the video of the big reveals. Um, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and reveal these onions. Oh, man. All that hype. This. What? That definitely smells very much like an onion. Um, and we'll take it inside to see how much it tastes like an onion. <laughs> Oh, that was such a disappointment. Sorry to let you down. Know that I'm let down too. 
I definitely expected way more than this to be the outcome of this onion plant that has been in the ground for oh so long. But I mean, hey, I guess you get an onion, you get an onion, you take an onion, okay? I planted this onion and I look like I received two onions. So we'll take it inside and see what ultimately it looks like and tastes like. I'll let Crystal try it out on one of her Cooking with Crystal videos. Make sure you are in tune so you can see when this bad boy becomes in uh, this bad boy tummy. Now speaking of tummy, make sure y'all go ahead and get the merch attached to gardening. Y'all can see me in this pretty green shirt, which there are so many other colors, as well as you can get long sleeve, as well if this is, you know, short sleeve is not your thing, which usually, I prefer long sleeve, but I did get the short sleeve since I'm in Florida, but you know, whatever. Still need a protection, okay? Get the protection from the sun when you wear long sleeves. But now we can go ahead and pull up some more of these candy peppers. Now y'all know this plant right here is a plant that always supplies. This plant has given me numerous, and when I say numerous, I mean numerous peppers, okay? And they are all succulently good. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick some more off today. Um, I have a lot of red ones, which it was advised to me to wait until they turn red. So, I have. I waited. Oh, yeah. This one looks good. Smells good. It used to be that green color, if y'all remember what this one looks like. And now it is red, man. Look at that. Look at that. Just come in here and get picking. Uh-oh. Looks like I let this one go too long. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This one was damaged. That's okay. Throw it back out there into the wildlife in the backyard. Uh-oh, I look like I let another one go too. Oh man, it's been raining so much. I think that affects the plants too. Yep, I lost this one, but at least I did get one. So I'm gonna throw that one out. And I think that is all. Yes, that is all for that harvest this time. It's all right, I expected three, but I turned out with one solid pepper, which I am oh so thrilled about. And again, y'all can see us use these peppers in our cooking videos um, that Crystal does. I mean, that's just her thing. And um, so let's go to the raised, not the raised, but let's go to the pallet deck so I can show you all what ultimately I decided to do. Um, and then y'all can help me decide what I'll do on the next go round. So on this raised area, so you can see right here, boom shaka like a boom i mimic what i did over here which on this side i put lemongrass y'all see the lemongrass looking nice and vibrant i did a video thumbnail probably looked like this <laughs> <laughs> and i planted this lemongrass back here and it has grown up quite well i'm gonna say it's been about three weeks since this lemongrass has been here um i am very satisfied with how it is growing I picked it up at my local nursery, which is actually about to close down. I am so sad, man, that the um, nursery owners are still going to retire. So I have to find another nursery nearby. But nonetheless, um, I picked up some more lemongrass right here. The idea is that it will grow up to be like the other ones. And I have mint here. These are two mint plants. I have a lemongrass over here. And I'm still in between myself. Obviously, I planted one lemongrass. I love lemongrass. I planted one lemongrass, but I'm looking to put something on that side and something on this side that will, one, help deter mosquitoes, but then two, look aesthetically pleasing. Um, and it'll be beneficial to the family. You know, lemongrass is great. You can make it teas, you can essential oils, things like that, mint. Y'all already know the many benefits of mint. Um, need I say more? But uh, yeah, so. Let me know in the comment section below what you think I should plant on that raised, or not raised, yeah, it is a raised bed. Actually, it's like a corner, corner bed, you know, to my deck. And if you're trying to like think where you could put plants, put them on the corners and edges of your decks and give people one way to enter your deck and one way to enter off your deck and things like that. So plants can be used so many ways. All right, so now also sweet potatoes. I have done a sweet potato video. I did a part one, I did a part two with my five gallon bucket sweet potato plants. And my sweet potatoes are still doing well. Um, the flowers are looking nice and lovely. Um, they are growing quite well. In this five gallon bucket down here, I have three, as you can see. Um, they are looking good. So I believe they are still growing. I believe they're still thriving. Let me know in the comment section below how do you know how can you tell when it's time to pick your sweet potatoes first time ever growing them figured out doing a five gallon bucket but i do need your help to know when to pull them out okay so you know 
you help me, I help you, we grow together, literally. And I'm gonna pull up these tomato plants. These have taken far too much rain and they start to dry up and shrivel up and things like that. So these have to go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my mint area as well. And um, you know, just get things clean, get things right, because it's going into the winter months and I wanna plant some collard greens, cabbage, uh, kale, spinach, things like that that grow in cooler type weather. Even though I'm in Florida, you know, there are times in which cooler weather does come <laughs> and it is the latter part of the year like the rest of the world. But anyway, that is what I look to do. That is what I will do. That is what I will get to do with you. So make sure you tune in to get some helpful tips and ideas. And on next week, I have an exciting, and when I mean exciting, I mean an exciting interview that you don't want to miss with a good friend of mine that will help me grow collard greens that she had in her raised bed garden. And her collard greens were like three feet tall, literally three feet tall. So Definitely she knows what to do. She'll help me get my raised garden bed to where I want it to be and or my five gallon buckets. I may add to the garden some more five gallon buckets to get everything that I want grown in this backyard. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some cleaning. Uh oh, I see another pepper that I didn't see before. Let me grab it. It was on the ground and got a little spot. Oh man, it's a little solid one though. Yeah, I'm gonna just have to take the seeds. Lose the plant, take the seeds. Sometimes you just have to use the plants for seeds. You don't always get to eat your harvest, but you can get ready for the next go round, which are the seeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my little raised garden bed area. Make sure you go check out some other videos. Subscribe if you haven't already done so before. Turn that red button into a great button so that you can join this family, join the fun, and grow some more. Get your shirt attached to gardening so that whenever you go to your Lowe's, Home Depot, nurseries, or whatever, other people can see that you are attached to gardening, having fun with gardening just like they are. And you can start having good conversations, even through your face masks, okay? Even with social distancing, it's always good to have good conversations with good people, and you can learn some good facts, okay? I love y'all people, man. I'm hot. As you can see, I'm sweaty, but I'm here for you. I'm here with you, and I'll be back again next time, all right? So let me get to cleaning, and uh, I'll see you next week. Yay!